This is Gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 7600. I recently reviewed this RX 6600. Both of these are great value compared to Nvidia. This one goes for around 260 to 70 to 80 right now, and this one is around 200. This one is about 20% faster for about 30% more, which is not bad actually. For the price of this, you can probably only buy something like RTX 3050. RTX 3050 is slower than that, which is horrible. Uh, this one, uh, this one will be a little bit slower than RTX 3060, which goes over 300. Uh, and this one will be faster than that. This is more of a competitor to 4060 but it's uh, cheaper again. I recently reviewed RTX 4060 by NVIDIA. Uh, this is a competitor of that, and uh, this is definitely a better value. The biggest difference between this and NVIDIA RTX 4060 is that this one is definitely a lot bigger, heavier, and uh, it has a much higher power consumption, uh, but it's cheaper. And again, for the performance, AMD Radeons are almost always better than NVIDIA. Unfortunately, but most of people still want NVIDIA. I don't know why, but it's like prejudice or something. Let's unbox this baby. This is the box, 8 gigabyte, OC edition, wind force, robot here. We flip it on this side. Three fans. That's a lot of fans. Here we can see some information about its architecture. Here we can see some more stuff and how it looks. Three fans. And before we proceed with unboxing this, I must mention that there is another great option, which is RTX. 6700 XT, which is about uh, $300, a price of RTX 4060. And it's definitely a lot faster than both of these. This one is kind of close in price to that, but this one is definitely slower than previous generation RX 6700 XT, which is uh, comparable to RTX 4060 Ti, which is like $500, which is crazy. They do not come with any seal, unfortunately. Manual. Here it is. Oh, wow, that's big. It consumes a lot of power, around uh, 160, 170 watts. This is pretty big. We have some kind of seal here. Here it is, 7600. Three fans, and this is 6600. They are same lengths, but this one is definitely thicker, heavier, definitely a lot heavier. We have four ports here as well, same as with 6600. Two display ports, 1.4 and two HDMI ports, 2.1. Everything latest. Look pretty nice. This part look like as if it's gold plated, but I don't think it is. Probably some copper alloy. My advice about these, um, this one, if you want to spend $200, you may find a better deal on eBay. $200, this is the best thing. Buy 6600, maybe you find a good deal on 6600 XT. Um, this one is newer generation. Everything that's last generation is often uh, 
a little bit overpriced compared to previous one. Previous one drops in price and the new one is often a little bit overpriced, but you get something more modern, maybe with some features, maybe it'll be um, faster with some driver updates. Uh, but overall, either way is fine, but spend a little bit more on the 6700 XT, which, which I have. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. 6700 XT is great. For those with small motherboards, and this one is close to 11 inches. And uh, like almost 5 inches this way. And it's pretty thick. Let's see, it's like 2.5 inches. Yeah, it's almost two and a half inches. Well, this one is below two inches. Some motherboards and cases are small, so size matters. No matter what people say, size matters. Some computer cases are small and this one will not fit in. If you care about performance, which is most gamers do, right? buy this or this or 67 XT or something like that. Uh, buy NVIDIA RTX 4060 if you want something small, two fans, thinner, with like 50, 70 less watt power consumption that will fit in your small case if you have something like 15 liter case like HP Pavilion or something and uh, a weaker power supply. Otherwise, buy AMD, AMD is better, bro. Uh, 